If you guys want to donate to the Palestinian cause, I am raising money with one Ummah. They have a 100% donation policy, link in the description. Asalaamu As Alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. The month of mercy is here, the doors of the blessings are open and one such blessing. The month has just barely started and already such a big name, MashaAllah, has accepted Islam and he is none other than Sean King. Alhamdulillah we've covered this on our news website s2jnews.com and the people that are following the whole Palestine thing, especially on social media, you're probably aware that one of the most vocal voices in this effort was indeed a non-Muslim at the time, Sean King, who had amassed 6 million Instagram followers. And what happened thereafter was that Instagram deleted his account. It was clear that the only thing that the guy had been posting was crimes that Israel had been committing. So not only has he accepted Islam, but his wife also has accepted Islam. Alhamdulillah. So he accepted Islam with his 10 year friend Imam Umar Suleiman, whom again you probably are aware of, who is not only a well known Muslim speaker but also very vocal in the whole Palestine activism. And the reason that Sean gave was primarily what is going on in Palestine. Seeing the death and destruction taking place over there, however seeing the reaction of the people and how they are coming face to face with this and the resolve and the resilience that they are demonstrating. <laughs> Another reason that he gave was the atmosphere that he felt when he entered the masjid on Friday. Yeah, Friday prayers are the one day in a week where Muslims congregate in large amounts to pray. Yeah, it's like Christians got Sunday, Jews got Saturday, Muslims have Friday. Now what's interesting is this story is replete with stuff that we've already been discussing, yeah? I mean hypocrisies that are coming to the surface. We know they used to exist but people could still you know, squirm their way out of it by using sophistry and using definitions and words and you know what I mean? But now it's clear. Anyone debating whether Israel is in the wrong or in the right, there's you know what I mean? It's just you must be blind. Truly blind! So what's interesting is Instagram, I mean free speech, standing up for human rights doesn't exist. Even now, especially the austerity that we're seeing, nah 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 nah, involved with Ukraine, Russia, involved in Palestine, involved in Syria, Yemen, talking about the British government, but nah 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 nah, it's the brownies coming on these rubber dinghies mate, yeah <laughs> they're the problem mate, keep them out. Yeah, and Muslim. Yeah, they're in the mosques doing the prayer, mate. Yeah, and they got Ramdam coming up, mate. They're gonna be fasting. Ooh, yeah, starving Muslims. Ooh, what a scary thought. I didn't think of it like that. And not to mention that he was a Christian before, and not just any Christian. He was actually a pastor, a pastor who founded the Courageous Church in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm not surprised because even in the Quran we're told that the Christians are the closest to you and the, from the demographic of the other faiths, a lot of Christians are accepting Islam. Why? Because number one, you they, they can't guarantee the preservation of their book. Yeah, they've got so many different versions and each version has entire books missing. In Islam, regardless of what sect you are, you still accept the same Quran, you still accept that there's one God and the final Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. You know what I mean? You accept the fundamentals. However, again in Christianity, somebody believes Jesus is a son of God, somebody believes he's a prophet, somebody believes he is God, somebody believes he's one out of three because there's actually a triune God. The fundamental theology of Christianity can't be agreed upon. And in a time that we're being led in all different directions, we need clear, distinct, instructions, detailed and this is something Islam offers, not Christianity and the likes. You have a billion people worldwide that have stopped eating. Why? Because God told them to stop eating. This is the discipline that's being instilled by an objective source, an objective morality. Whilst you'll be like, oh, look at them listening to something else. 
Well, I'm, who do you listen to? What the news? A Professor Robert who claims that he's got a science degree and he tells you this about science and that about science. Have you done the experiments yourself? Uh, no, but I can read a book. Shut up. We all follow someone or something. Yeah, why not follow something objective who just wants the good for us? Scientists can be cajoled and manipulated and they can lie based upon their own desires. Hey, we're told to control our desires because God tells us. In the Quran, we fast to gain taqwa. And what is taqwa? Loosely translated as controlling, curtailing one's desires because the Almighty Creator of everything has told us so. Very simple. Yes, there are secondary reasons feeling what the poor people are feeling and health and all of this sort of stuff. But the primary reason is to instill in us that our desires are not stuff to be followed. Otherwise, the way you see society heading now, this is what happens when you are slave to your desires. So Islam works. You may hate it, you may dislike it, but it gives results. In the face of evil and destruction, saying affirmations to yourself or going to the gym is not something that you can tell to the Gazans. You know what I mean? But the faith is so well rounded and permeates every aspect of our life that you've got somebody in the depths of despair. Even that person has a connection with God. You compare that with somebody that has a luxury like Mr. Tate himself and probably Mr. King himself, yet they still require a direction, a structure, Allah. And that's why guys, Islam works. Let's leave it there guys. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.